that each person would take around six verses and explain it and move down. But uh, since time would not have permitted us to do that, then we'll just do it differently. Father, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for your love and your mercy towards us, Lord, your peace and your joy. I thank you, Lord, for another morning. A lot of people didn't get up, Lord, but we hear, Lord, you wake us up and we hear this morning to thank you. So bless us this morning, Lord, and the rest to come. Help them to be able to come, Father, and speak through me and for me and have your way this morning. Again, I ask, call in Jesus' name and for thy sake. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. Okay, uh, John chapter 5. And uh, as I said last week, uh, we have just covered a free, mir free miracle that Jesus did. He confirmed the confirmation of free miracles of the Son of God. So uh, what I wanted us to do, I want us to do this morning, if we would have some readers this morning, we would try to read a little fast. So time would, what, whatever we could do, not, 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 nothing much anyway. But uh, probably I'd have to do all my reading. He said, after this, if I would read it. You know what thing I love about that? Uh, even, when, even when people turn off their mind, the angels are there. That's what makes it great. We are not on one set mind. We are on the things of God. And while people turn off their mind on a certain thing, the angels go right there to pick it up. Okay, from verse 1 of chapter 5. Chapter 5. Yeah. Uh, chapter one, so, uh, yeah. Chapter chapter five of John, John chapter five, verse one. And the first reader can take from uh, one one to six. Okay, chapter five, verse one to six. Let's do that a little fast, because time would not permit us to do so much we want to do. Okay. Yes, my brother, or my pastor. Go ahead, read in. Okay. Uh, chapter 5, uh, John, the caption is, the third sign, healing the sick. That's right. After this, a Jewish festival took place, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, by the Sheep Gate in Jerusalem, there is a pool called Bethesda in Aramaic, which has five colonnades. Within these lay a large number of the disabled, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been disabled for 38 years. When Jesus saw him laying there and realized he had already been there a long time, he said to him, do you want to get well? Sir, the disabled man answered, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred, but while I am coming, someone goes down ahead of me. Get up, Jesus told him. Pick up your, your mat and walk. Instantly, the man got well, picked up his mat, and started to walk. Okay. Now... Let's stop the way. What verse here? That's it. Okay. From what verse? What verse you read there? Don't to what verse you at? Take up that. Take up that mass and walk. He said. Okay. And immediately. Okay. Verse nine. 
Okay, now the way I, the way I set it up uh, is that we would take it from verse 1 to verse 5 and stop there a little bit. Now, uh, from verse 1 to verse 5, as we look at, uh, now what we observe in those verses, anybody could explain that from verse 1 to verse 5? Yes, yes. Oh, Pastor Bray, take from verse 1 to verse 5 and just tell us what we understand, what, we, 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 what happened really there. Uh, Jesus went to um, a different place called Bethesda, having five porches. And okay, um, from where you at? Okay. And then I'm starting to. You told me to just explain from one to five. From right? one to five. Go ahead. Okay. Go, yeah. So then there, in this particular area, there's a pool, and around the pool. There are a multitude of people, sick people, who lay there, and at a certain time, the a angel goes in the water, this pool of water, and causes it to move, and whoever steps down after the angel moves the water, who, the first person who steps in is healed of any disease that they have. Um, and then on verse 5, it says, there was a man laying there, 38 years. Okay. 38 years. Now, I have verse 5 actually is a great capture that we observed there in verse 5. Something special happened there in verse 5. In fact, from verse 1 to verse 5, great things happened. But in verse 5, we saw that man was there for 38 years. 30 and 8 years. Now, now uh, if we have considered or look at it, now when we go down a little lower, then I will see what I really have to see. Now, from verse 6 to verse uh, 11, somebody read again. From verse 6 to verse 11, somebody else could read it. Chapter 6, verse 5 to verse 11. Chapter 6. No, chapter 5. Verse. Oh, chapter 6. Verse 6, yeah, verse 6 to verse 11. Chapter 5. Chapter 5, verse 6. Okay. You get it? Stop at verse 9. You still okay, want to yeah, read we, it? Yeah, we just go back so you could explain, okay. explain the verses. All right. Um, when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered, sir, I have no man to put me in the pool when the water stirred up. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. And that day was the Sabbath. Okay. That's, that's, what, that's what verse, verse 9. Okay, go down to verse 11. The Jews therefore said to him, who was, cu who was cured? It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them, he who made me well said, take up your bed and walk. Okay. Now, according to verse 6 to verse 11, even in verse 5, we saw something special happen. That man was there for 38 years. Yeah. But when you get to verse 6, that's where Jesus came and asked him, would you make all? And then he began to explain what happened in that 1,976 Sabbath day. If we get that, it is 1,976 Sabbath day that man lay down there by that pool. And the Jews passing back and forth. 
but never recognized or observed him until Jesus said, take up thy bed and walk, or if you'd made whole. Can you imagine how long that man, even before Jesus was born in the flesh, even before he came on earth in, as God's incarnate, incarnate, because Jesus had to start his ministry at 30 years. Mark that. So he was not yet born in the flesh when that man was by the pool. And the Jews passed him back and forth, back and forth, and never look at that poor man there. Now, somebody preached that message, I think, right in that church, and said that man didn't make no effort to really get up. I think he did make effort. Hmm? He did make no effort. He made effort. I think he did make effort. Yes, yes, sorry. Yes, it. I mean, the scripture answers that question for us. He said, I tried to get to the pool. He couldn't walk. He said, I'm, I was trying to get to the pool, and people got there before me. People whose illness wasn't that they couldn't walk. They, whatever their illness was, they beat them to the water. So he made an effort. It's just other people got in the pool. Definitely. He made, you mean that might be so wicked? For himself, for himself for 38 years to lie down there and don't make effort to get up? I think he did. I think he tried his best. But somebody always get in there before him. Now, before we're going to close just now, now can somebody else, have, somebody else give an, another comment concerning that, concerning what say somebody the rest of us? Did that man make effort, Pastor? He passed the mic. Jesus asked him a specific question, and he answered all around the question. He asked him, do you want to be healed? And he said, I don't have a man to put me in there. I can't get in there by myself. He didn't ask him all of that. He just said, do you want to be healed? That's the question that, that Jesus asked. Because, all because that man did not know who was the healer. No. That Jesus was the healer. He didn't know who he was talking to. No, he didn't know. Yes, brother. Um, I was going to say that um, Jesus, it seemed to me, was testing the man's faith. He said, would you be healed? Or, and a lot of times we tend to think that he was asking him, do you want to be healed? But what the man's response was, was, I have faith to be healed. I see the water being troubled, but I can't get there, and there's nobody here to help me get into the water. Somebody always beats me to it, but I have faith to be healed. So I think that, you know, that's something. Uh, yeah, I think he tried. And I think, yes, it's a gram. Give it a gram to me. We're going to close just now, but. Yeah. 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 No. Okay. Whoever. <laughs> yeah. What What I think about that is, this man had faith to believe that if he gets into the water, that he would be healed. Yeah. Because every day he left his home, however, maybe dragging or somebody carry him. But he made his way to the well per adventure. Somebody would give him a chance. So I believe that when Jesus came, Jesus asked him the question. So he's just stating the fact. Yes, I want to be healed. But every time I try to go in, somebody beats me to it. So that's why I'm still in this condition. So his time had come. So I think he did make an effort. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Give it a mic. He, he did make an effort. <laughs> well, he didn't say I want to be healed, though. That was Pastor's point. But I always wondered why did Jesus ask him that? <laughs> he, 
He been there for 38 years where Jesus knows. Yeah, I Somebody beats me down, and that means I know I can be healed. I really can't heal. Well, but he didn't. But he didn't say I want to be not, healed. He did not. He did not. He started answer that. explaining yes. to Jesus yeah. what, what, the, what exactly. But I I never understood why Jesus asked him that in the first place. But he he didn't have to have faith to be healed. All he needed to do was to get in the water. He he didn't have any faith to be healed because he wanted to get into water to be healed. Yeah, he had to get to the water, but he couldn't get there. It's like you're stretching your hand and you cannot reach to drag up. He couldn't get to the, he couldn't get there. Yes, Pastor. He thought, the man thought that uh, getting in the water was the only way he was going to get healed. Right, exactly. He thought, that's the only way I can get healed is to get in the water. When, and Jesus was saying something else. So that's faith. When, when, when Jesus, Jesus didn't, Make any effort to help him get in the water. He said, get up and walk. That's not, because Jesus wants to live in water. Him. Right. He said, get up and arise and pick up your bed and walk. And that was the healing. Yes. And he got healed. Yes. He didn't get in the water. You know, that lesson is so hot. So next week, next week we can pick it up. <laughs> okay. Um, there are some things the Bible say that come but only by prayer and fasting. So Jesus wanted to do that work himself. Um, I'll, I'll let you know that when we were driving up from here to Miami, we had a test. When we get to the freeway, it was closed. They closed the freeway, so it, they rerouted us. Yes, oh, sorry. They re um, rerouted us to another area, and it took forever on that road and and Shem was saying I wonder why this is horrible why so I said don't say that is God protecting us you know I I did pray and ask God to watch over us on the journey so God said this one is for me I am doing it for me you asked me to protect you I am not sending anybody else but this one is for me so at that point in time in this man's life, he, he didn't have to go to the water because if he had to go to the water, it could have been something else. But Jesus wanted to do it himself. So that's why the man kept saying all what he said. He was stating the fact that he wants to. He just didn't know who he was talking to. Right. Yes. That's right. Yes. If you guys have a mask on, you need to bring the mic up close so we can hear you because I'm not getting it recorded back there. Anyway, brethren, next week the Lord says the same, we'll pick it up from where we stop because that's a lot of food, a lot of juice in that lesson because a lot of people give a lot of comments, not only here but different places concerning that poor man. But as I said, sorry, that man, he spent 1,900 and 76 Sabbath.